8 o'clock. The last page has gone to press. We'll go round to the Cambridge for a few pints, as printers often do. The press crew know where to find us if there's a problem. Closing time. I'll go back to check the all's well and the last fans have gone. Blast! There's a light showing in the press room. I fumble for my keys and make my way, a little unsteadily, down the iron staircase. Then, quite suddenly, I feel the need to sit down. A voice booms in my ear, jolting me awake. Come on, lad, there's a lot to do. Don't let Mr Parsons see you sitting down, or you'll be for it. The gaslight hisses and flares. Wearily I get to my feet. I've been here since seven this morning, and there's an hour to go. As a lad, it's my job to damp the paper, and then, as we get running, to hand-feed the sheets, one by one, into the machine. Timing is everything, and they must be laid straight. Clack, clack, clack it goes. It's relentless, hour after hour. The miners get a break when we need more ink, but not me. I have to fetch the buckets from the cave in the alley, which, they say, is haunted. As we collate the sheets, I glance at the date. Saturday, 17th of November, 1877. The first edition from our new works, built in Claremont on the old America ground. The front page is all advertisements, many for beer, wine and spirits, which I'm not allowed as an apprentice. It's also forbidden to me to dice and cards. Furthermore, I may not commit fornication, whatever that is, nor marry, nor haunt either taverns nor playhouses. I should like to see Madame Trebelli at the music hall, but can't afford it anyway. It's one and six, even at the back. That's half my weekly wage. There's a supplement tonight on account of the elections, so we are extra tired, but finished at last. Tomorrow, which is really today, we start again by breaking down the ten pages of type and then putting the letters into the type cases, ready for next week. We call it dissing. It's mostly small fonts, non and minion. I don't know how our older readers manage. I shall get a break when I go to the Carpenter's Arms to get the mid-morning beer for the men. But now I'm so tired, I think I'll just sit here for a while. A hand on my shoulder wakes me again. Come on, Ian. Time to go home. It's Fred, the caretaker, doing his rounds. You must have had one too many. We laugh. I pick up a paper, check the date, November 19th, 1977, switch off the light and go home.